uh, you know, Gohar came back. It's only within one point, and I still think I'm going to stick with my gut reaction and go with Taya. I feel like she's okay. looking very calm and confident out there, and not too phased by Gohar's pace. Minus there, that was great, <laughs> great, great cross. Right, right on cue. Right on cue, and I mean, sure. I don't think Taib's being quite as precise as she normally is so far in this final. She's just taking a little while to to find her targets. Obviously, you know when someone's hitting the ball like that, it's uh, it's pretty difficult. You feel rushed. You're not always comfortable, but I think she's taking her a little bit of time to to find a range, which she will. Like yeah, there, she... that was a great length. Amazing. Yeah, no, I, I, she definitely will. It's it's obviously getting used to the pace too, and you know you'd hope to have neck and neck, great squash. Yeah, both both women have settled in now into this match. Talking of settling in, Tayeb now has got herself into a tiebreak situation. In good shape. <laughs> got to be careful. But Goha, one game ball now in this tie break. Yeah, probably needs her legs chasing after her. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Another great get as well. Goha putting some serious work now though into the legs of Tayeb. She's got a chance here. Tayeb's on the ropes. She won't get that one back. That is great pressure from Goha. There's the fist pump from the world number one. Calgaryen. Both smart players, but yeah, in a tournament when he's using the ref and yeah, it would be so hard yeah, to clever. stay focused. Wow, the slang. That's tight work. Wow. Yeah, I felt like Tybe needed something. She's, she was getting a bit frustrated. She's got the slight deficit in points in this game and obviously one love down and she was just getting a bit tetchy. She's looking around again. That just doesn't happen. Do you feel part of that is that she's a little nervous to go forward? You know, you have to um, be yeah, so I think I, Yeah, I agree with the point you made earlier, um, definitely. But I think there's, there's been one or two where it's been a lot more obvious, where, where it would be it would be so easy just to dink in a straight drop shot. But Both such great events. I've heard so many good things about the Nods tournament, but haven't played oh, it's it. fantastic. Yeah, it's amazing. You should, when you're uh, recovered from your injury next year, you should definitely uh, take a trip to, Go to Nantes. It's a brilliant uh, event, and that's a brilliant shot from Noren Gohar, just completely out-positioning Tayeb. And as I said, she she's a master at just pummeling her opponents, really. 11-5, the second game to Gohar in 11 minutes. She leads by two games to love in just under half an hour. It was just going to get the momentum, wasn't she, with that, that error from Goha. Um, she could have pushed on a little bit, but it was quickly nipped in the bud with her own mistake. These movements look so tiring, so exhausting, really throwing her body at the ball, not looking quite as balanced as she can. Yeah, everything is a lunge, isn't it, for, for Taya? And then it's a complete outright winner for Goha. In the time there, go hard quite rightly. She's played some unbelievable squash this week, looking in fine form for the Egyptian Open. <laughs> oh, she read that one. She's so so adept at those kind of well, you might call it a guess, but could be could be seen as a calculated guess. If anyone's going to do it, it's going to be tired. Yeah, definitely. Australia almost looks like she's been revived, but not wow. enough. Oh, it was too good. It was a bit of an anticlimax in the end. I'm quite sure what happened to that shot. But like a lot of the shots from the Terminator, just disappeared. And it's Noran Gohar, the world number one and number one seed, taking the final 12 10, 11 5, 11 7. Three love in 42 minutes. She is the Southwestern Women's Open champion.